there's a really good swell in the sea. So let's go fossil collecting. Here's some botryoidal chalcedony. The sea is turfed out. You can see here on this rock. And also to a chunk of the Lime Bay Agate. You can see a bit of the banding there, just in the edge. Let's wet it and see how it comes up. Oh, that's a good colour. Look at that Chalcedony Lime Bay Agate. Nice mauve, translucent, purple, banded agate. Well, I'm around in Pinay Bay, and you can hear that big sea rumbling in. You've got to watch out for those seas. And here's a piece of Arneoceros block that I found. I'll tap that open a bit later on. It's a bit water-worn. Here's a nice piece of the Rochelaria fossils. Look at those. People think they're ammonites. They're not. Well, here are some of the right rocks for splitting. And I'm looking for little ammonites protruding out of the side of the rock to give the game away. There might be something more inside. Let's give it a tap with the hammer. Well, there you go. This little one, you can see the keel of the ammonite, the back of the ammonite protruding out of the rock. And then if I just take that bit of rock away, you got the impression one side and uh, Euagaciceros ammonite, the other side. I recommend safety glasses when you're breaking the rocks and I'm washing them off now to clean them up and I'll dry them off. Well, look at the size of this Areotitis bucklandi ammonite on the beach. It's getting very water-worn now. And look at it compared to this small ammonite in limestone. Well, look at this jumble of cemented rocks here at the foot of this waterfall. A very nice green waterfall coming down with that direct runoff there. Some beautiful rainbow colours there in the moss waterfall. Here's a beautiful Areotites, Bucklandi, Ammonite impression there, and part of the end chamber there as well. And that's a plastic model of what the sea creature looked like swimming around in the Jurassic Seas. Some good weather for some surfboarding. Plagia stoma shell there on the edge of that rock. It's a shame the sea has eroded that away. A beautiful Pinay Bay down there in the distance with those lovely limestone ledges. There's an ammonite there. It's got quite a hairline crack in it. So that will probably fall apart going through there. And then you can see this big root system of a tree, all the little bits of flint and other material jammed in that root system. A very nice piece of eroded tree on the beach. And I'd like to find today some of the agatized and silicified fossil wood from the Cretaceous period. That piece I polished up, you can see that pebble there that I did the work on, the lapidary work, to get it polished up. So you could see all the Torito borings there and the structure in the pebble.
I'm back down towards the Ammonite graveyard. I've come out of Pinay Bay and started wandering back towards Lyme Regis. And you can see these lovely Ammonites from the Jurassic era, all fossilized on this limestone platform where the chambers the creature used to fill with water or gas to give their buoyancy in the sea. You can see Lyme Regis down there in the distance. A lovely sunny day still. Look at how these blocks are breaking away from the Ammonite graveyard. And these big seas will rip apart the limestone platform. see down there in the distance an army helicopter coming right down through past the Ammonite pavement. You can see Lyme Regis down there in the distance. Here comes that huge helicopter. So there is one of the Ammonite specimens on this limestone platform but look at all the different species of Ammonite that there are. So many different species there you can see that you can find along the Jurassic coast. Well this large lump of fossilized wood in the limestone pavement that can be seen rather near to Lyme Regis and as I'm walking back now along the beach the sandy beach before you get to the historic cob you can see the sea has really been quite large today those waves have been really quite large and they're hitting against that historic sea wall and that area called the cob is defending Lyme Regis from the big seas sweeping in and today in particular the sea has had a real swell in it from the stormy recent weather so here on the 14th of March it's been a really beautiful day to share with you along the Jurassic coast if you like this fossil hunting video, give it a thumbs up. That would really help us and leave some comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one.